Okay folks, so this is the next interesting Polish experiment. Six dough balls, 280 grams each, 65% hydration, 3% salt. We're going for 24 hour leveling at 18 degrees, 24 hour leveling at three degrees. And I'm going to make the Polish now, and the Polish is going to sit around for 20 hours at room temperature. So that's quite a long session. Um, I'm going to get started on the Poolish right now. So for the Poolish, we need 173 grams of flour, 173 grams of water, and a meagre 0.068 grams of yeast. That's what we'll make. And uh, then we've got these other things to add to the main dough, which we'll do tomorrow. So today's flour of choice is uh, Manitoba. Uh, quite a nice strong flour. I've had some great um, pizzas out of this stuff it's got 14 grams of protein in it can't remember the W number off the top of my head now but it's pretty high I'll find that out ok let's get the flour in we want 173 grams water now okay I'm struggling getting the yeast down to much less than 0.07 when I really need 0.068 so I'm pretty much on it but that's all it is unbelievable it's a speck okay got the water ready so in order to get this off here into the water I've, I've took the water out into another cup I'm just gonna run that over and you can see it has gone slightly cloudy, so there's definitely some in there. So we don't need any salt. All we need to do now is mix this up in here. Hopefully this will work. It's an interesting uh, recipe anyway. 68 hours. <laughs> it's a long time. So I'll just make sure that we get rid of all the clumps and there's no dry bits in the corners. Somebody was asking me about doing this with the uh, Molino Dalla Giovanna and uh, it's basically the same, just change the flour. Um, yeah, I've chosen a stronger flour because of the amount of time really. This is, this is going to ferment over. Okay, I'm going to get this into another tub. In fact, I've decided against that. What I'm going to do is just scrape all the stuff from the sides and flatten it out across the bottom. Um, I don't know how much this is going to grow by in 20 hours, but so all I'm going to do is just get the sides done as best you can. Yep. And then just try and flatten it out across the bottom. Okay, that's nicely smoothed out across the bottom now. So all I'm gonna do now is place the lid on it and I'm gonna leave it at room temperature for 20 hours. And we'll see what it's like tomorrow. Okay, so the, the next part of the process, which is to make the main dough, um, I've had the main dough autolyzing for about seven hours with 400, and 400 grams of water. So we've got 846 grams of flour and only 400 grams of water. So it's very low hydration, less than 50. 
I mashed, mashed it together in the KitchenAid this morning and then threw it in the fridge so it looks a bit like bigger to be honest with you at the moment but um, yeah we'll get that out in a minute. This is what our poolish looks like after 24 hours, sorry 20 hours of sitting around on the table. It's, uh, it's got a nice aroma to it and uh, that should be quite good. This is the flour that I've had in the fridge autolyzing as you can see it's like I say it's less than 50% so it's quite dry and quite firm but uh, it's nice and cold so that should help with the uh, mixing temperature so there's my additional uh, 90 grams of the 490 grams of water with the yeast and I'm gonna add that to the poolish now around the side of the poolish to hopefully help that Poolish release from the uh, from the tub that I've got it in. Okay, so literally, probably isn't going to go around the whole of the sides, but as you can see, it helps it come away a little bit, which is what we want. Okay, I'll try and slide all this lot in. Right, I need to go and get a spatula. Okay, I think that's pretty much all that's going to come out. Okay, so now it's just a case of combining this lot together. Let's lower the head down, the cage top down. Um, we might need to just adjust the spiral so it engages with the motor. Lock it in place. Reset my timer. Put it on something nice and simple, like two and go so I'm not going to bore you for too much of this uh, we'll come back shortly when it looks a bit better so we're two and a half minutes into this now no sign of, uh, of it pumpkin in yet um, so we'll just keep it going see what happens it's starting to turn, change shape slightly, but no sign of a pumpkin yet. 4 minutes 30 and we can start to see the shape of a pumpkin starting. So it's starting to come together. Might give it a, a break in a few minutes and let it have a rest. Oh yes, it's starting to take shape now. Okay, we've just gone to 5 minutes 30, so uh, let's give it a few minutes to rest. Okay, so we've had a good 10 minutes waiting now, so let's see what it's like when we fire it off. Still got a few dry bits there, hopefully they'll get used up, sucked up, whatever. Still looks dry, definitely. Right, before I forget, bang some salt in. Salting. Okay, I'll leave this running for a little while, see how it goes. Okay, it's been going for 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, it's looking pretty smooth. I think it's time to give it another break. 
and uh, we'll see how it gets on maybe do a window pane check on it doesn't look anywhere near ready to me just yet so uh, we'll leave it for a bit longer okay it's had roughly 10 minutes to rest i can have a quick look at it now it's getting some strength whoa that's not far off in fact maybe just need to touch more yeah we'll give it a bit more of a blast round it's not far off now though Okay, I'm a bit scared of over mixing this. We've been going for 10 minutes and I'll leave it to rest again. And if the window pane's good, when I come back, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so we've had about 10 minutes again to rest. I'll have a quick look at it now. Do a window pane. Feels nice. Oh yeah. I think that's a done deal. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't think it needs any more. Super thin, plenty of strength. So what I'm gonna do with this now is I'm gonna shape it into a ball, put it into my other bowl, and then that is gonna sit in the fridge for 24 hours. There we go. I'll just cover, up with that, cover that up with some uh, cling film now and uh, that'll be that. Okay, so this is 62 hours after I started this on Wednesday. So it is now Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon on the nose. And this has got a further six hours to go. So that will be 68 hours in total. Whoa. Smells nice. So time to ball this up. Let's have a quick peek inside. Is a oh yeah. Got plenty of structure going on. Feels good, feels soft, not overly sticky. Yeah, look at that. Belting. So 206, 280 gram dough ball, 273, 296, that's too much, 283, that'll do, okay, let's have a, see if I can, it's only 65%, so it shouldn't be, no, it's not bad, it's not bad at all, you can hear the gas popping in it, yeah, Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, I'll ball the rest of them up. And also, I've got some sourdough going. Mrs. said she wanted to try it again. Not had it for a little while. It's not a long proof, that one. It's only going to be eight hours of a job. So it does mean it's got lots of, of uh, sourdough in it. So it uh, should taste quite nice. Anyway, I'll ball the rest of these up. There we go. Super easy to ball as well. Really nice to handle. Let's hope it stretches well later on. So we'll take a look at these just before we cook in six hours time. Okay, so this is what they look like just before we cook. Looking pretty nice. Okay, so let's get this stuff cooked. I've made a few pizzas already using this stuff and uh, it looks really nice, it's slightly elastic, but it's making a cracking looking pizza. Oh, is that Let's get these moved out of the way. Yeah, it does, it does look like, it feels nice though, it's easy to work with, but like I say, ever so slightly elastic, as you will see. Yeah, you see that? 
maybe it needs to prove longer, I don't know. But it's not so bad in the end when you stretch it out. Okay, swap sides. It's a lovely summer evening. Quite warm. Great for making pizzas. So we're on the sal uh, salsa tata frutta, which is a blend of mushrooms and truffles. It's really nice, it makes a change from tomato sauce. You don't need a lot because it's actually got quite a strong taste, so you don't want it on dead thick. Doesn't look the best, I have to say. Mm -mm. <laughs> Looks like doo doo. Lovely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Typical children's minds. <laughs> Okay, so that's enough cheese to start off with. Onions. A few mushrooms. And before I put the sausage on, I'm gonna get that on my peel. serious elastic but it's not bad once you have stretched it out okay a bit more cheese on in places Italian sausage comes with a free Labrador these just to give it a bit of colour and also what I've been putting on because I quite like this is the jalapeno jam a few dollops here and there okay give it that bubble Last bit of a stretch, and in we go. Pick an amazing place to sit. Good. That poolish is giving a nice looking crust. I've made a few pizzas yet, but I haven't actually looked inside one of them, given them to the neighbours. So I don't know what it looks like inside. It certainly smells good. And that 
think that's a wrap. look inside this crust. Ouch, it's got a lovely crisp to it. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's got a nice structure inside. Very nice looking structure. Quite springy. Got a nice crisp to it. I can smell that truffle stuff. God, it's red hot. Let's give it a try. Mm. Yes, it's nice. It's very light. Can't argue with it, to be honest with you. It's um, quite a nice looking crust as well. It's got a nice colour to it, nice texture, and a nice taste. So there you go. I'm going to murder this off now. So there we go. That's Poolish. Um, what was it, 68 hours fermentation in total? So, yeah, it's turned out very nice that. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you later. Cheers.